Hello everyone and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Editors have independently selected all of the goods and services that are listed. On the other hand, Soaps.com might get paid a commission for orders made through its retail links, and the retailer might get some data that can be audited for bookkeeping purposes. Victor Newman, the notorious character from Young and Restless, is back to his old antics, and things aren't looking good for a few folks. We would even go so far as to suggest that it appears to be really terrifying for one of his adversaries' own thing was made clear to us by Victor's decision not to kill Jordan, report her, or terminate her torment of his family when he had the chance. He hadn't given up on her yet. Cole is the only person who, as of yet, feels that there is more to the narrative, which heightens the mystery because Victor has informed everyone else that she passed away. Call them sly if you will. He keeps breaking the madwoman down little by bit, while we wonder what in the world would have made him lock her up in his own basement instead of turning her over to the police or sending his goons to kill her. In the cage, Jordan seemed to be going through some sort of withdrawal, worrying about imagined spiders until, at last, he found comfort in the bottle of vodka Victor had graciously given him. Jordan, though, is still perceptive enough to figure out why he's bothering with all of this. She started to bargain, asking Victor to explain to her how she could be released to a conventional prison, which she was starting to think would be preferable to the cramped, dark cell in the cellar. He might be feeding her rats, too, it must be said. If so, mysterious meat from prisons would be an improvement. In any case, Victor kind of hinted that he had something planned for her, but he wasn't going to tell her anything until he was completely ready. Meanwhile, Jack Abbott's discovery that he had spent the night in a suite at the Geno City Athletic Club with Nikki further escalated Victor's rivalry with him. In addition to Jack drinking with her when he was supposed to be serving as her sponsor, a role Vic had only grudgingly agreed to. He also called up his dealer and combined alcohol and drugs to the extent that Nikki had to call for emergency medical assistance. Overall, it was a terrible scene but it got worse. Jack was portrayed as the town hero after Nikki packed her bags and left for rehab because he scared her into not drinking herself to death by jumping off the wagon. The mustache would never approve of Jack's sacrifices for Nikki, and when you combine that with the humiliation of his wife spending the night in a hotel with another man, well, my dear, Jack is in serious difficulty. Jack will undoubtedly get his comeuppance, since the Black Knight is so furious with his adversary that he informed him he would have allowed him to die. Knowing her father's strategies inside and out, Victoria told Cole and the audience that her father's request that Claire avoid the Abbots was a warning sign. He doesn't want his granddaughter to be caught in the crossfire since he is planning something. From all of this, we can conclude that A. Victor is planning a retaliation against Jack. And B, Victor has something planned for Jordan. You really should go back and redo that math if it didn't give you a chill. Yes, May Sweeps is going to get ugly as Victor plans to exact revenge on Jack by using Jordan. Even if the horrifying plan is still hazy, we're inclined to guess that Victor would use Jordan to re-addict Jack to drug use. Victor's evil scheme against his enemy could not only ruin the abbot's existence, but also put an end to it. Since Dane has already given notice that she intends to leave, there is internal strife at Jebot, and Ashley's alter egos are out of control. This is a really dangerous situation, people. But Jordan is a wild card here, and he despises Victor, so there's a good chance this goes south. That involves collateral harm, as we are all aware. When Victor is out to get someone, he is renowned for having tunnel vision and not thinking through the potential consequences for innocent bystanders. Ask Summer, who almost lost her life when her grandfather brought Patty back to town to scare Ol' Smillin in the past, if you don't believe us. 
It's easy to understand how this spine-tingling story could go horribly wrong, thus May Sweeps should be read aloud. Young and restless, infamous Victor Newman is up to his old tricks, and it's not looking good for a couple of people. In fact, we go so far as to say it's looking downright horrifying for one of his nemesis. The fact that Victor didn't kill Jordan or turn her in, and put an end to her torment of his family when he had the chance told us one thing. He wasn't done with her yet. Adding to the intrigue, Victor has told everyone else that she died and Cole is the only one, so far, who senses that there's more to the story. He's being cagey, if you will. As we ponder what in the world would have possessed him to lock up the madwoman in his own basement, rather than hand her over to the authorities, or have his henchmen end her life, he continues to slowly break her down. Jordan appeared to be going through some kind of withdrawal in the cell, panicking over imaginary spiders, before finally seeking solace in the bottle of vodka Victor so kindly provided. Jordan, however, is still sharp enough to deduce that there's a reason he's bothering to go through all of this. So she began bargaining, demanding that Victor tell her what she could do to earn her release to a regular prison, which she's begun to take a more desirable view of as compared to the claustrophic isolation of the cage in the cellar. It has to be said, he may also be feeding her rats. If so, prison mystery meat would be a step up. Anyway, Victor basically implied that there was something he had in mind for her, but he wasn't about to give her any hints until he was good and ready. In the meantime, Victor's feud with Jack Abbott left the frenemy zone in a big way when the latter was found to have spent the night with Nikki in a suite at the Geno City Athletic Club. Not only was Jack drinking with her when he was supposed to be acting as her sponsor, an arraignment Vic had very reluctantly accepted, but he called up his dealer and mixed pills and booze to the point that Nikki had to call in the paramedics. A bad scene all the way around, but it only got worse. After Nikki packed her bags and went off to rehab, Jack was painted as the town hero for shocking her out of drinking herself to death by throwing himself off the wagon. Jack making sacrifices for Nikki was never going to go over well with the mustache. And add to that the humiliation of his wife, having spent the night with another man in a hotel, and well, Jack's in big trouble, mister. With the Black Knight so angry at his rival that he told him he'd have let him die, revenge on Jack is definitely in the cards. Well versed in her father's tactics, Victoria explained to Cole and the audience that her dad's insistence that Claire stay away from the Abbots was a red flag. He's planning something and doesn't want his granddaughter to get caught in the crossfire. All of this leaves us knowing that a Victor has something in mind for Jordan and B is formulating a revenge plot against Jack. If you didn't get a chill when you did that math, you had better go back and do it again. Yep, May Sweeps is about to get ugly as Victor uses Jordan to take his vengeance on Jack. While the horrifying scheme hasn't come into sharp focus yet, we'd be willing to be that it will involve Victor using Jordan to get Jack hooked back on pills. With Diane already having one foot out the door, infighting at Jebo, and Ashley's altars running amok, Victor's nefarious plot against his nemesis could not only demolish the abbot's life, it could end it. Very dangerous stuff at play here, folks. Jordan is a wild card here, however, and loathes Victor, so the odds of this going sideways are above average. We all know what that means, collateral damage. Victor is known for having tunnel vision when he's out to get someone, with not enough thought given to the possible implications for innocent bystanders. If you don't believe us, ask Summer, who nearly paid with her life when her grandfather brought Patty back to town to terrorize Ol' Smillin in the past. It's not hard to see the myriad of ways this bone-chilling plot could go wrong, which means May Sweep should be lit. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.